carbon and its compounds form an integral part of our lives. From food to medicines, from textiles to laboratories, these organic compounds find a place everywhere. We have seen carbon compounds having magical applications as well. Right from killing microorganisms to cleaning our clothes, they perform numerous amazing tasks. Did I just say cleaning our clothes? Where do organic compounds come into picture for cleaning clothes? Can you guess? That's right, in the form of soaps. Wait, what? Are soaps carbon compounds? Yes, they are. Soaps are chemically the salts of fatty acids. Let's understand this. Fatty acids are extremely long chains of hydrocarbons with carboxylic acid attached at one terminal. Now, since soaps are salts of fatty acids, they have sodium or potassium attached to the chain. So, can you guess the structure? Let me help you with that. A long chain of hydrocarbons, which can be saturated or unsaturated, and the chain will have a carboxyl terminal and sodium or potassium attached to it. The structure of a typical soap appears somewhat like this. How can they be represented though? Chemically, soaps are represented as RCOONA or RCOOK depending upon whether it has sodium or potassium attached to it. Now, it's obvious that these kind of huge structures cannot be written precisely every time. That is the reason why we represent soap molecules using this structure. The ball on top represents the carboxyl terminal with sodium or potassium attached. This end is called the hydrophilic end or the head region. But why is it given such a name? Hydra is water as we know and Phyllis is loving. That means the end that loves being around or being with water. In contrast, this terminal is called the hydrophobic end or the tail region. Phobia as we know is fear. That means the group that fears being with water. It is the portion that tries being away from water. Hence, this hydrophilic part which gets attracted towards polar molecules like water is also referred to as the polar end. And what will this region be called? You guessed it right. It's called the non-polar end as it gets attracted towards non-polar molecules like oil, grease and so on. Now that we know the typical structure of a soap molecule, let's understand how it helps us clean our clothes or vessels. See you in the next video.